we've developed an app for Splunk and that makes it easier for you to forward your search results, the relevant ones, um, to your Signal 4 team. And um, yeah, today we will show you how that feels and how you can set it up. So I guess we start with... Um, with the demo? With the demo <coughs> of the scenario, right? So I will use that machine to yeah, send new data to Splunk and there is a search and an alarm definition that forwards that stuff to our app. And here we go. So you can see the app is open and um, I can access all the details of the alarm that was sent uh, from Splunk um, to Signal 4. I have all the details from the search as it was configured in Splunk. So like the names of failed machines or yeah, computer names or whatever. So we can have a look at all this data. Can even also open the search results here using the hyperlinks. But of course we want to acknowledge it to prevent that it escalates to the manager in my Signal 4 team. Cool stuff. So and now let's see how Rene actually implemented it and how the um, the new Splunk based app looks we have developed. Here we have a um, Splunk instance and um, what we can um, first of all check is the app that we've deployed here. And you can see it's already registered here. It's called Direct like Signal 4. Yeah, and it has some yeah, general global properties that you can set up, like the team secret of your Signal 4 team. So we can configure the um, team secret of your Signal 4 team here in the global settings of the app. So you will enter yeah, your secret like it is um, displayed here in that example value um, in, that, in that box. And then you click on save and off you go. So that's super easy. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. And it's a one-time activity. That's a... That's the great um, news here, because otherwise you would have always <coughs> need to enter your URL okay. to the webhook cool. of your Signal 4 team cool. in each search alert that we will look at next. So this is just for one team. So it links your, your Splunk Direct Signal 4 app to one team. But mm -hmm. what happens if you have like multiple operations teams responsible for different areas? Yeah, so targeted mm -hmm. notifications is supported as well with the app. And this is what we will see next. We can see that here there's alert definitions for these search that are defined. And um, here we can edit the alert that we want to yeah, process and run. And when that one is triggered, then you can see there's actions that you can add. And I have added that signal for action, alert action. And you can see it also takes a team secret. So if you want to address multiple teams, then you can enter dedicated different um, team secrets here Same. per search result, Good. per alert definition. So network stuff, network team, database to database, mm -hmm. signal for mm -hmm. team, <coughs> that's possible as well. And um, so what's this category here in the, category, in the setting? The category refers to the name of a yeah, systems or device category that we can set up in our Signal 4 teams to assign signals to yeah, these categories. Or can, can we see how we've done that in the app? Oh, oh sure. So on the dashboard, we on the top here, we tap on the gear and then there's this section here, services and systems. And here are the ones that we have in our team. And yeah, on the bottom there is a category that we have set up that is called Splunk. And you can see the pure name cool. is what I've entered there and then all the signals will be green with that icon so I can... So like the visual tagging of, of that alert for Splunk. Yeah, for Splunk or then you create dedicated categories for network, database and you can easily cool. recognize what it is about that you receive the alarm for. Okay, this is cool, simple, as Signal 4 should be. And uh, great stuff, Rene. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, cool.